Well, my, uh, I knew it was going to be a double dose brain fuel plus day today when I woke up and the first thing my phone did was ring off with a text from Larry Lane. And I looked at the clock and we lost an hour yesterday and I had 10 hours to prepare for this. So here we go. Um, I, um, I did have something happen uh, to one of the distributors in our group and I wanted to tell a little bit about that. Um, along with what this has done for me. Dr. Bruce, when he made this up, it was, he was just a genius. I don't know what, I wish I had half of his focus and half of his, his um, um, intelligence. Um, the astaxanthin is the antioxidant. It's one of maybe five to six antioxidants that he's got in this, and we all know that antioxidants clear free radicals from your body, and that's the free radicals are a result from when the oxygen is um, oxidized, and that is like the, get, the, the smoke that comes out of the rear end of your car. That's the junk. And um, so this is what he found, the main ingredient that's at the bottom of the list that should be at the top of the list, in my opinion, um, because it crosses that blood-brain barrier. And when you think of blood-brain barrier, think of the word barrier. It means it keeps out. So what he's done is found something that bro breaks through that barrier and lets all the good stuff that he has in here with him. And I don't think he left anything out. Um, I can tell you for a fact that I have, there are two or three ingredients. I'm not going to go through these. This is Dr. Barusi's territory, but um, except for the one that I'm going to um, elaborate on just a little bit. Um, but I had uh, woke up with depression every morning for most of my life, as far back as I can remember, big black cloud, and uh, a couple of weeks into Brain Fuel Plus, boom, it's gone. And there are Three, I think of three or four ingredients in here that improves um, depression. Um, it uh, lowers cholesterol, helps weight loss. Um, it raises the good cholesterol. My husband's a, a doctor, and he doesn't believe in uh, prescribing statins. And the, full, um, the niacin that Dr. Bruce put in this helps lower your cholesterol and at the same time raises the HCL which or the good cholesterol in your blood so that it helps protect your heart um, so that's another genius thing he did and, and my husband's a genius I think <laughs> not as much as Dr. Bruce of course but um, this is another good thing but be careful with how much you take you could get flushes and I think I have overdosed on it because sometimes I get hot flashes and I know I'm past that stage Folic acid. I was put on that after a car accident and a concussion when I had to go on another medication at, that caused anemia. I'm off uh, both those um, uh, medications now, be, and my uh, anemia is gone. And um, the uh, Valium for the tremors that I had, that is gone. I just am completely off of all prescription drugs now. Um, when Dr. Brucey made these, he, was, he, was, well, he wasn't just thinking, he was thinking about everybody. He was thinking about us. There is a vitamin B12 out there and it's mainly used for pernicious anemia because it's not absorbed by the digestive system. And what happens is there, there are two types. One is methyl and one is cyanol cabalmin. Now the cyanol is what most doctors give. It's got cyanide in it. But Dr. Barusi, he said, uh-uh. He took the methyl. It's more expensive, but he used it anyway. Methyl and hydrogen and cabalmin. And this man is a genius. He is, had only everybody's interests at heart. He wanted nothing in this that would hurt anybody. Um, also, this is the newest, Larry, zinc. Um, and also the S Taxothen is also good for your skin. I went to a dermatologist and, and I had to have some laser because I had these white cystic blebs coming up under my skin and I had to go back for more, but I didn't go back for more because after about two months on um, Brain Fuel Plus, 
two and a half months, I looked at my 36 plus mirror magnifier and I couldn't find a blip. I couldn't find any more cysts. They, they were gone. And all the bumps under my skin were gone. So those two, two ingredients really did a good job on my skin. And I think they also help with the people who have their hair falling out and who have uh, nails, uh, problems with their fingernails being thin or a lot of ridges. Um, so those are two things that help your skin. Phenylalanine is one thing that I wanted to just touch on because it was a big objection by a couple of people to one of the distributors, and they have it all mixed up. And if I have one thing to say to distributors, research every ingredient in this. Go to I used WebMD, and I did post it in um, Brain Abundance uh, Builders, and I posted the whole article because I wanted people to know that there are about uh, 25 or 30 different names for phenylalanine. The D phenylalanine doesn't do anything. The L phenylalanine is the one that's the amino acid, and they are the building blocks, the protein building blocks of your system. Um, they are found in most um, dairy products and meats or proteins, and they have a great effect on, um, they have uh, ADHD. Depression, Parkinson's, chronic pain, osteoarthritis, there you go. You hit my legs there. Um, and there's something, there are other ingredients in here too. The knee pain I've had since I was 16, 15, 16 years old. One day just, I didn't even know when it disappeared. It just was gone. Rheumatoid arthritis, and they have uh, some evidence that it has helped with alcohol withdrawal. Now, in the past, this... Um, Herbal industry wasn't regulated, but it is more and more regulated, and it's being studied more and more, and they're learning more and more. Um, the one uh, caveat I would have on the phenylalanine is any mother that has a baby at home who does not take their baby to a pediatrician needs to do that as soon as possible after birth, probably within the first three days is best because they are drinking cow's milk. They are not drinking soy milk. And phenylalanine um, can cause a metabolic disorder and mental retardation. Every baby born in a hospital, premature or otherwise, has a PKU test, phenylketonuria. They're testing for that. And that's the, um, the culprit that causes the retardation. And so that it would be the only people. Now, if you get an objection on, from somebody on phenylalanine and say, no, 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 I see it. it, you know, you do see it on diet Coke and diet Pepsi and all, any diet drink, you'll see contains phenylalanine. They don't say anything about the aspartame, and that's with an M. Um, that's the carcinogen that they found. The uh, phenylalanine is just the second ingredient in aspartame, so they don't call it phenylalanine. They call it aspartame because that's the one that is the potential carcinogen. So remember that, research it, put it to a Word document, and put all this down so you can educate people about this. Um, so that was, that was the one thing I wanted to really elaborate on because I, I wanted people to know that there is a, something that you have to be careful of. It's, a, it's not very many people, but it, cover, it hits enough babies that they decided they, ha they should test every baby that's born for the PKU. Okay, but it has a lot of benefits to it as well. Um, I have been very healthy, haven't had the cold, didn't get an influenza A, even though they screwed up on the flu shots this year. I had my flu shot, but I still didn't get the cold or influenza A because I've been taking my brain field plus diligently. And um, they have uh, two or three ingredients here too that takes care of that. Um, so besides my personality disorders that I had that are gone, um, grape seed extract, uh, it also, uh, my, my, <laughs> My gynecologist told me this one, and he's an alcoholic, so this is just for giggles. Um, 
he's, uh, it, it really does, it's always been known to, to help the cardiovascular system. And he said, Andy, you have to drink one glass of dark, the darkest dry wine you can, you can find, and I can't stand dry wine. But I said, okay, I'll do it. I've got five bottles in my refrigerator I haven't touched. And he, he said, but men, we get two. And I said, yeah, I'm sure you do. Well, he's got one leg. He's walking around on one and a half legs. So that tells you right there, the, you know, uh, just stick with the brain field plus. You'll be, you're, you're pretty covered here. Um, anything else? Um, my knees stopped hurting. I'm not depressed. I, don't, I am able to focus. And no, Larry, you didn't make my day bad. It was the other things that piled up on top of it. Um, I do sleep better at night. Um, I have more energy. I don't have the stress, anxiety, or memory problems that I had um, for a long time. And um, I just love this product. And I still, to this day, say the longer you take it, the more things that you're going to find, and that's happening with me as well. So back to you, Larry. That's all I have. Thank you. Hey. Hey, Anna, thank you so much. And if you will, I know you gave us some great information. Just tell everybody really quickly your background in the medical field because I, I want them to know that too. Oh, yeah, I've been a registered nurse for 35 years. Um, I'm still not old because other doctors have dropped dead when they asked me, when they write down all the herbs I was taking, they were look, had a disgusted look on their face and then they looked at and said, how old are you? And I would tell them and they'd say, they'd walk out of the room saying, Damn, excuse my English here, but damn, there's got to be something to those herbs. So, uh, they, and believe me, <laughs> God put them on earth. As long, you, you either stay healthy now. This is my motto. You either take the good stuff now. I don't care if you're 40 years old. If you're 40 years old and healthy and you want to stay healthy, take Brain Feel Plus. 